Hi everybody. Today I've been working on a Halloween shirt or well, Halloween shirts and I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how I do that in Canva. I upload my file to Printify and then how I then upload it to be live on Etsy. So I am in my Canva pro account. I just want to make that clear. Um, this will be using pro elements. If you do not have a Canva account, you can go down in the, um, description below and you can find a link to sign up for free. I again, use Canva. It's 1299 per month. Um, and I use Canva for so many things. I'm on it every single day and you can just do so many things with it. Anyway, that's my spiel on Canva. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create a design. So top right corner here, and I'm going to make a custom size and I'm going to do 24, 54 by 2020 pixels. I already have this saved in, but you would just type that into the box. Okay, here we are. So the shirt I'm thinking about making is dancing skeletons uh, with Halloween heads. <laughs> so um, I just thought that was really fun. As you guys know, it's the end of August. It's a little um, crazy how we're already at the end of August. <laughs> okay, so let me go to elements over here in the left-hand corner. Once again, I am using uh, most likely the pro account. So if you are using a free account and you go to search dancing skeleton, if you go to the three uh, slash with dots here up in this box, click on that. It'll give you a drop down menu and you can click free and it'll give you the choices for free um, graphics that you can use. But I'm going to be using, again, the pro account. I know I'm repeating myself, but as you can see here, these are pro accounts and you can tell because they have the little pro with a crown. I'm looking for dancing skeletons with no head. This one has a head on the ground. I like this one. So let's pull this one over. I doubled that one up. Now this is brown color. So I'm just going to click on it and make it black. Um, and make this a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm going to go back to my elements and let's look for another skeleton. I'm just going to pull this one over. Yeah, I'm going to make him dark. Okay. Make him a little bit bigger. It doesn't matter if he doesn't have a head. Okay. Make this one black. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to search for pumpkin. And let's see, um, this, you can use anything that kind of floats your fancy. This is what I want right here. I like this one right here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to pop this on top of the skeleton and let's see if it's recommending any magic. Oh, I like this one. Here we go. So whenever you click on something and add it to your design, it'll give you magic. I'm just covering his head. <laughs> um, recommendations similar to what you just used. So let's see if there's one more. Um, I don't like that one. His face is a little, let's do this one. Move this over here and pop that on his head. So there we go. We have some dancing skeletons. I like it. Let's add a little bit more to this. Let's do some, let's look for some bats, some creepy bats. Here we go. 
So here's a bat. I'm going to make this a little smaller. It's a dance party. So I'm going to pop him here and I'm just going to do control V. This makes a copy. I'm going to pop this one here, rotate him a little bit like this, make him a little smaller. Um, let's look for one a little different. Here we go. Ooh, he's spooky. Let's put him over here. Wait, like that. Um, let's do one more copy V and I'm going to pop this guy right over here and I'm going to make him a little smaller. And then I'm just going to root you rotate. See this little spiral thing here. You just click on it and you can move this around any way you want. So I think I'll make him a little smaller. Okay. I like that. Now let's add some stars and I want some orange stars. Let me actually pop in orange. Oops orange. There we go. Oh, I like this one. I'm going to make, so I'm just going to work on this, speed this up and I'll come back in a second. So when you're happy with whatever you've made, I like this. Um, this is really cute. I'm putting this on a uh, sweatshirt. So I'm done with the graphic. And again, you can change this, do anything you want. Um, maybe I'm gonna bring this down a little bit farther, just like that. Make sure everything looks good. Okay, perfect. Now to save this, we wanna go to the top right, click share. I want to download this as a PNG and I'm going to do a transparent background download and we're going to head on over now to Printify. We're in my account in Printify and if again you don't have an account I will leave a link down below and you can sign up for free and then what you want to do is you want to connect your store to your Printify shop. And that's how you upload your designs and then um, put them into Etsy. So I'm going to do this like I'm kind of brand new doing this. And you can see here the best seller is the Gildan 1800, uh, 18,000. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And I'm going to start designing. Now what you're going to find here are different companies that provide printing. You want to decide which company you want to go with and you can go by these star ratings. So the person who has, or the company that has the best star ratings, they're listed, you know, first, second, third, etc. I use Swift POD. Um, I just like the colors. I like the um, customer service, but you can use anything that you want. If you're looking for specific colors, um, as you can see, I guess this is called Dumplum. They have 18 colors. Print Logistic has eight. Underground Threads has 12. Monster Digital only has seven. Um, Swift POD is 17. Again, this is what I use. So um, that is your choice. And the other thing you want to pay attention to is the location. So um, Dumplin is in Canada. So if you live in Canada, I would choose that. Print Logistics is Poland. So for me, living in the United States, I wouldn't use that. So here you can see Underground Threads is printed in the United States, Monster Digital, United States, Swift POD, etc. So I'm going to click Start Designing. Now we're going to go and we're going to upload what we just created. So I'm going to click My Device. And here it is. It's already uh, downloaded on my computer. So I'm just going to upload it. And here is the, um, the actual print this dotted line is the print line. So say I made this bigger, see what happens. It cuts off the print 
So you need to be really careful when you're um, positioning or sizing something. You don't want to go outside of the print zone. Otherwise, you're going to lose your um, what you've created. So I just kind of eyeball it. I like mine higher. And then you can just make this a little bit bigger so you can see how it's looking. And then you want to get this to center. And then what you can do is you can preview it this top right corner a preview of your actual um sweatshirt i like that that looks really cute you can look on it a mock-up on a person so you can see here so here you can look at it you can ed edit it see if it's big too small if you you know went outside of the print zones etc i like the size of this so i'm happy with this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this um, i'm going to go back to edit because what I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to choose colors. So I'm going to click, click select. And then here is ash. Now I wouldn't do black sand sports gray. Um, you can do gold orange and the only other last co color I would do would be pink. So those are my colors that I would like to, um, keep and click save product. Now, if you're working in Etsy, you want to create your own mockups. You don't want to just use the mockups that Printify gives you. Um, Etsy doesn't kind of like that. So um, again, you can look and see what your items look like. So after this, you need to go back to Canva and create your actual mockups. So from here, what you want to do is put in a uh, product description so we could say dancing skeleton halloween shirt pumpkin halloween oops now i have been doing this for a, quite a while and i did a little bit of research to see what um seo um, terms words um, highlighted words are trending on Etsy and you can do that through E-Rank. You can do that through Everbee. And I can also leave those links down below. I'm just showing you guys how to make this and upload it to Etsy. Let's see. And then full shirts for women. Okay. And then what I do is I copy this and then I paste it into um, my description. Now you can put anything you want here for a description. Um, I'm just going to leave this pretty generic because this is just like um, an example. Now this is where when you go down to pricing, you want to check your pricing. So you can see this is a sweatshirt and if you're selling it for $23.50, your profit is going to be between $9.40 and $13.09. So 40% profit margin. Um, I like to click them all, edit the price, and I'm going to do profit of 50%. If you're starting out a new store, I would go a little bit lower. Um, oops, it didn't quite click. Here we go. There we go. And it applies it to all the different colors. Now here you can click if you don't want to do certain sizes. I just click all of them. Here are all the colors, seven colors. Um, product visibility, hide in store. So I'm just going to hide that in my store for right now. And then um, I'm going to unclick the mockups. And then down in the right, you want to click publish. Now again, because my Etsy store is linked with Printify, when I go over to Etsy, you will see this actually pop up. So I'm going to head over there now and show you what that looks like are in back in Etsy in the listing. And I'm going to delete that. That got carried over from Printify. So here, this is when you add your mockups. So here we are in Canva. I am going to show you how to create your mockup. So you want to take the time and you want to head on over to Etsy. 
And what you want to look for is Gildan 18,000 or any of the mock-ups that you are creating. And I would take some time and look for mock-ups that you like. And what you want to do is make sure you're buying mock-ups with the colors that you're actually using. For example, if I just went ahead and bought this big mock-up bundle, it may not have the actual colors that I sell. So you want to go through and make sure like this has sports gray, forest green, uh, light blue, dark heather, maroon. So this one pretty much has the colors that I sell and most people do sell, but you want to make sure you find a mock-up that you like that is straight on. And the other thing you want to make sure of is if they have hair that the item that you're putting, the graphic that you're putting on your shirt is not going to impede with the hair. It just doesn't make it look very clean and professional. So when you find the mock-up that you like, I suggest starting out with white or sand. Um, I really like these mock-ups. These are very popular right now. So as you can see here, it's only 75 cents. So um, go ahead and download that. So you would add it to your cart and then you would just check out and then you would go to, to your uh, downloads. You'll upload it. So head back over to Canva and you go to uploads and where it says here, upload file, you would just click that and then you would find the file that, um, you know, that you just downloaded from Etsy upload it into your files here. I already have some mock-ups. I have a size chart. You want to make sure you have a size chart. And then you also want to make sure that you have a color chart. Okay. So to create your mock-up, again, you don't want to use the Printify mock-ups. We did the pumpkin here. So I'm just going to add the pumpkin to our shirt. And you want to try to make sure that we're matching it to the actual Printify product that's going to be created and shipped to your customers. Important is I like to turn down the transparency on this so the colors aren't as bright. So when the it's more realistic when the, the customer actually gets the product. Now, Swift POD that I use their sweatshirts are actually really, really nice. And the graphics are really, really nice, but that's just a suggestion that I make. So I'll go ahead and turn that one down and there we go. And then to download, you would just go up to here to share, click download. It can be a PNG. It does not matter if it's a transparent background because this is just used for your actual mock-up on Etsy. You'll go ahead and download each file and then we will upload that into your listing. So let's head on over there now. You can see they're already downloaded to my computer. I'm going to upload those. Perfect. And I'm going to make this my main photo and I want to crop this a little bit more. Crop this down teeny tiny bit like so all right good and etsy has added this alt text where you can put um seo information in it so this is just what i copied and pasted from printify when i was typing in my my um description so i just copied and pasted it there and then the other thing I need to upload is my um, measurement mock-up. I would do is add, you know, all the different colors of the sweatshirts, sweatshirts that you have, um, anything that you want to um, have extra in your listing. That's completely up to you. I'm just going through this. I'm just showing you how to do this. Okay, so you've uploaded your photos. You um, created your mockups in Canva. You did not use the mockups in Printify and you're checking to make sure your thumbnail looks good. You're checking to make sure your description looks good. 
anything that you want to have in it. Um, the price and the quantity and the, S, the SKU number was already set in Printify. Here are the prices for your different sweatshirts. You can adjust it as you wish. Um, I just go through Printify. Um, you can change a lot of the stuff carries right over from Printify once your store is set up. Um, I don't click anything in primary, uh, primary color. I don't do anything in secondary. I don't do anything with the size. Um, what I do do is I do tags. So this is where, again, you want to do your SEO tags and list all of those. And you want to make sure you use all 13 of them. I'll just show you this quickly. Make sure you're doing your SEO research within whether you have um, Everbee or um, E-Rank. Okay, so you would do 13. Um, I, I leave all of this alone, item and weight and size, because again, Printify has that already set. Um, there's no customs to work with. Um, you set your own return and exchange policy, and then shop section. So here you can see I have all different shop sections. So we made a sweatshirt, but this is a Halloween sweatshirt. Um, I'm going to put that in sweatshirt. Now, important here, automatic or manual. Automatic will renew your listing. Manual, you do it yourself. I like to test my listings. So I leave it on manual and you want to publish your changes. Publish. And then here is your listing. And you can view it on Etsy and see what it looks like. And here is your sweatshirt. Perfect. When someone comes in and they select either a size and a color. So again, this all gets pulled over from Printify and they click add to cart and then they um, pay for the item it automatically gets sent to printify and printify automatically prints it and ships it out they take care of all the customer service it's fantastic i hope this tutorial was easy to follow and i will see you guys back on the next one